Good morning and welcome back to another fishing adventure. As you can see, it's absolutely lashing it down. Welcome to autumn, picturesque, stunning Jersey day in the eyes of a bass angler. It's absolutely perfect, isn't it? We have a really overcast day. The sun is supposed to put its hat on and come out. But until then, swell, rain, you name it, we got it. We have dipped into an area on the north coast this morning just to get out of the wind. It's not a place where I fish very often, but there is a good chance of a basil. So uh, Benny's come along, he's just setting up over there. We are gonna get deep into it. We've got big reefy area right in front of us, all around us. We've got a bit of swell. Benny's making the first cast, I'll let him do that. And hopefully we can get into some fish. White lures. Yeah, 20, 30 gram, and we're just gonna bang him out. And hopefully we're gonna get into some fish. Oh yeah, fish on. Hit me out of nowhere. Come on. What is it? Well, we've caught our first fish of the session. As you can see, it's absolutely lashing it down. We've moved around. We started on a reef over there. We moved over to the beach area where there's loads of heads and waves and tide. And I've caught my first fish. It's not a little bad, it's a little bruiser. It hit me quite hard. Really dark fish. Yeah, really dark fish. Not the biggest, maybe two and a half pounds, but really nice, solid little fish. Out of the surf, yeah. Can't beat it because today is actually a really small tide. When I say small, 26 foot to be precise. And in Jersey, we have some really big tides that go up to like 38, 39, and then some really small tides, which the tide doesn't really move. So there's about three meters difference between high and low today. So there you go, nice and easy. White YKR, water is a little bit cloudy. Cannot beat that. Benny was in as well. Benny's up there, he was just locked into a fish, so hopefully we can get another one. Let's go back fishing, get out there. And just so you can see, we've got a lovely area here, sandy rocks, pebbles, lovely little bit of swell, loads of boulders. Incoming tide, autumn day. Huh. Everything here looks bassy as fuck. Second fish of the session, just a little small one. Another one. Slam. There's fish in here, eh? Yeah. Second fish of the sesh. Little baby for Ben, but. Oh, he's off. Lots of fish out there by the looks of it, or the feel of it. Big heads out in front of us and the tide's just swinging over it. I'm getting hits all the time. Oh, 
I just got hit right close. As you can probably see, we've got some picture perfect fast conditions here. If someone had to ask me what would be the perfect morning on the bath, a little bit of swell, overcast, bit of drizzle, look at the waves coming in. Oh, oh. And we're catching fish and that's the main thing. Ben's caught two fish and they're spitting up little sardines or something like that. So we're pretty certain that there's bass in this area and what they're doing is they're pushing bait fish into this little bay and we're catching them. We're using white sand eel kind of lures, very small, 15 to 20 gram. I'm getting hit constantly, little plucks of the tail. Might go to something smaller, I don't know, but what a beautiful morning here in Jersey. You cannot beat it, can you? Big rainbow out there as well. But when fishing these kind of areas, always just make sure you're safe. I'm on a big flat rock. I've kind of got a path out where I need to go if a big wave comes and I know my way out. So uh, yeah, put the camera away, let's go fishing again. you one thing about Jersey. If you can get down to these little bays, there's just so much area to explore. Absolutely incredible. So bassy as well. We're gonna go try off this rock now. Hoping we can get into something. So I watch this swell though, because it's absolutely hooning through. And these rocks here is what we call ankle rollers because they just, yeah, if you fall on these, you're absolutely fadooshed. What a beautiful morning though, eh? Absolutely stunning. Let's make our way up and get fishing. Well, that rain stopped, managed to get the wet jacket off. Ben's just disappeared, he's going home, so we'll give it another 15 minutes. To be honest, I don't have too long on this rock. You just never know though. I'm not really a big fan of small tides, but just gotta hunt around and see if you can find the fish, which we did. We found a pocket full of fish just before. Then it slowed off. Thinking about putting a surface lure on, maybe. Yeah, but let's change. I'm gonna go put a surface lure on. It's gonna work this surface lure just across this gully. And hopefully, we can pull another fish out of the bag. Oh, fish just hit me right there. Oh, snipe. Garfish. I thought I had a fish behind me. Slimy. Yeah. I was bringing this in and then just stopping it. And there were some boils coming up, albeit they were pretty small, but big enough to notice. Then I stopped this, and I stopped the lure and let it just ride down the wave and bang. Not the fish we wanted, but. Top water action, baby. Top water action, baby. Slimy. Hopefully there's a basil around chasing those. That was tuna candy size. They're on me again, got garfish on me constantly.
A nice autumn bass off the top would be lovely to finish the session. Who would want to finish a session on a slimy? Definitely time to get out of here. Oh, big surge. Goodbye. We're getting to that time of the year now where the storms roll in, the weather gets crap, the rain comes down and never stops. But don't get disheartened by these weather patterns, dark nights, sessions where the fishing is a little bit slower. There is a chance of a really good fish coming into autumn. Stick at it. Don't let blanking get to you. The fish will come. Fish your spots. Uh, it was on a fish. Fish them how you usually do, yeah, but maybe slow down the retrieval. Big lures, little lures, they all work at this time of the year. You think about it. Just get out there, cast all your catch, and enjoy your fishing.